Hey guys, Tark Recycling FPV. We are now on, well, let's see, I think it's going to be part five. And that's going to be part five of the QI96 DIY uh, do it yourself build from Cyclone FPV in Texas. This is going to be, this is an awesome build, guys. And we just finished doing the, everything. We got all the, the F438 stacks uh, mounted. We got the camera put in. We got the motors done, zip tied. We got the heat shrink done. We got the cap done on one side. Got the JST on the other side. Got the receiver put in. Got the antenna for the VTX out. I mean, everything looks good but we haven't powered it up yet, right? And I couldn't find my cable and I still can't find my cable, uh, but that's not gonna stop us. I, I thought I would try real quickly to find it, I can't. So I'm gonna end up powering this up, but not really the way I like to do it. Let me go ahead and just kind of open the bench up here and make this uh, a little bit of an easier screen to see. Okay, so I was cleaning up a little bit and what I, what I usually like to do is I like to power up these quads using our DC, AC to DC power supply because they have built-in uh, protection and uh, circuit protection and things so that if we do have something reversed or crossed or what have you, we're not going to see too much damage. Problem is, is I cannot find the adapter for my JST and I'll be flat out honest with you, it's 1224. I've been up for almost, uh, let's see, I got up at four o'clock this morning. So in about three and a half hours, we'll be up for 24 hours. So I'm a little tired. I do not feel like, um, doing that and here I am just cleaning things up actually I've got to clean the shop off a little bit so I decided hell we're just gonna go ahead and take a battery and we're gonna plug it in and I've got my beta flight ready so I'm gonna go ahead and get the screens set up so that we can see what we're working with so let me go ahead and close this down uh, let me make sure that I've got this right uh, can we switch SBS protocol uh, let me make sure I've got this. Uh, sorry, I'm just reading something about the controllers here and making sure they've got everything done right. So, uh, let me see. Okay, I think that's going to work fine. Let me close. Let me minimize that. I may need that screen again. Sorry, I know you guys can't see it. Bear with me a second here. I think we're going to be able to go one, two, three. Perfect. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our beta flight ready. I do not want to upgrade the beta flight just yet. Okay, and next thing I want to do is go ahead and plug in. Now, I am going to um, also, uh, there we go. That's the first noise I want to hear. I am going to also power up this VTX, which may cut our video out. I hope it doesn't, but it might. Um, my goal here is to make sure that we've got video and I'm trying to see the best way to do that. So I think what I'll do is I'll just take our monitor, which is right here. I'll be able to show you guys this in a second. Okay. So here's the monitor, right? So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Okay. You guys should be able to see that as well. And so if this is working, then we should be set. Uh, the minute we apply power here. Now, like I said, it may interfere with our signal. I don't know. I'm also trying to make sure that I don't have this capacitor facing me when I plug this in. So here goes nothing. Well, well, that's exactly it. Here goes nothing. Here we go. Okay. So now what we want to do is we've got it. We hear the tones. Everything looks good so far. So now what we want to do is wait, I meant to do this. I'm sorry. So now what we want to do is we want to check and make sure that everything's working here. So I'm going to do a channel scan. Let's see if we can get any, should auto scan now. Let me see. There we go. Look at that. We got video. I guess we could use a bigger screen. So there we go. We've got our video, right? Excellent. So this really came out. I mean, I'm really, I'm really, really pleased with this right now. Okay. So we've got all that done. Now we know this is going to be kind of cooking here. So let's just go ahead and let's connect. Okay. And let's reset this. Let's go to our ports. Uh, we know that UART 6 is going to be our uh, smart audio. We're going to be running IRC tramp with that one. So let's click save. We're going to put our serial TX on one. Click save. You guys can't see this. Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting. So let's do it like this here. There. Okay, so when we log in a beta flight, uh, under our ports tab, we're going to go ahead and do a uh, um, UART1 will be our serial, and then we're going to be our peripherals will be uh, IRC chair for six. 
Okay, and then we're gonna go to our configuration. Now this is really running low voltage. This isn't gonna help me very much. So let me go here. I didn't realize that this battery was that. That's my fault. Let me just go ahead and click save again. There we go. And I don't know what version I'm running yet, but I'll find out in a minute. I do not like how this takes like this hangs like that. And I've noticed that with some of these boards, I don't like it, but it's only after saving. Now I'm gonna take it to one shot because I wanna do a calibration on this to make sure my ESC is right. And I'll set this to eight and eight, I guess, if I want to. I don't think it's gonna take though, but we'll set that anyway. And we're gonna call this the, um, where's my keyboard? Oh yeah, it fell on the ground, all right. So we're gonna call this the uh, CFPV dash QI96, okay? And we are gonna keep it serial based and we're gonna say that it is S bus. And now we're gonna click uh, save and reboot, okay? All right, now I'm gonna go to my motors real quick just because I'm curious. I'll have to disconnect, go back to my motors here. Let's make sure what we got. All right, there's motor one. Uh-oh, motor two, motor three, and motor four. We know they're working, they just need to be calibrated, which we're gonna deal with in just a minute. But the good news is, is that all this is working. Okay, so let me just connect the battery now, all right? And because I, I also know my VTX is gonna start getting pretty hot. Um, but for the most part, guys, this is the build and it's done. Now, we do have a whole nother section of, of work to do, which is gonna be on the side of Betaflight and getting it programmed. But we also need to get the final touches on this finish. So for example, we did not, let me disconnect this. We did not put in all, during the build, I did not put in all those screws for the, um, for the motors. So we need to make sure that we go back and we do that. So let's grab those and let's knock that out. Okay. Uh, right. Trying to, uh, there's a specific screw, a specific screw that I'm looking for here. I accidentally mixed and matched the wrong ones. So we have some that are like these flat tops. Uh, and so I'm just gonna try to use those on the motors right now. Uh, it's either that or I gotta separate them by hand later and I'll probably end up doing that anyway. But, um, all right. So this is basically just wrapping it up. This video is gonna be pretty simple because I am going to set up the whole beta thing, beta flight with the, um, uh, whatchamacallit. That's no way that that's that one. I'm gonna set up uh, the beta flight and the transmitter and all that. Uh, and that's going to take, that's going to be a nice video on its own. A couple sections, I guess, of getting the beta flight part. Now look, I'm trying to screw that screw and it's giving me a little bit of a problem, which means that I probably don't have these aligned perfectly centered. So loosen your other screws. Don't just try to crank down on one that's giving you a hard time. Loosen the other ones and there you see now they all go in without issue. So just, uh, these things don't have very much room uh, to give. So if it doesn't go, don't try to force it. Uh, loosen the other two screws and it'll probably bring that um, opening closer to the threaded area. All right, we got one more motor to go. Okay. All right, so now if you look at this, we've got all four screws here. We don't need to do it like that. Sorry, let me change the screen here. There we go, yeah. Okay, we've got all four screws on each of the motors. Everything is zip tied, everything's good to go, okay? And so now what you would do is, I mean, uh, what I was gonna do was go through programming this, but I really wanted to run the test first to make sure that I powered it up live with you guys watching, make sure we had no problems. And everything here is, I mean, it's complete, it's perfect. I have no problems at all. So the next thing we're gonna do is, I'm gonna clean up the bench and um, we will revisit this here shortly uh, with the programming side of it, but um, for right now, I just want to clean up the bench, and I think I may uh, I may call it a night. I mean, you guys have your hands full anyway, so there's enough in these videos to keep you guys building for the evening, and then come tomorrow, I will have the software part of this done, guaranteed. Okay, so here we go, guys. Look, here's the deal. That's the end of the building process. If you've made it this far, 
then you have succeeded in your DIY kit. And I'm very proud of you for it because it's not an easy build, right? These smaller quads are not easy and the soldering, your soldering skill has to be up there to do these. So congratulations to you for all of you that have made it this far. Now, what we have to do next is we have to load Betaflight. We're gonna, I mean, Betaflight's already loaded, but we're gonna have to do the firmware update, make sure it runs properly, right? Then we're gonna calibrate our motors. You can go back to D-Shot if you want, but I'm gonna use one shot in order to calibrate the motors properly using BL Heli. Um, once that's done, I'm gonna show you how to enter the values. I'm gonna show you how to uh, configure your flight controller. Um, sorry, your transmitter uh, to work with the receiver. I'm going to show you how to bind it and then set it and then set your limits on it. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and get the OSD set. And we're going to take this for a test run. So get to this point and then uh, make sure to watch the next video. So this was going to be number, let's see, let's see. So it was one, two, three, four. Well, this would be video five. So that's it, part five, which is the I talk for nothing part because everything else is pretty much done. But we did close it up. We did put the screws on and everything else. So there you go, guys. Listen, I'm proud of you guys. Congratulations to you. If you have any questions about this, please make sure to email me at talk at .com. And then also subscribe to our channel and support me if you could, please. And then, oops, and then this part, which is the, wait, where'd it go? Facebook, that one right there. Make sure to follow us on Facebook. Look, other than that, that's it. This was just basically a, a, a quick video to show you that we plugged it in and didn't blow up. Uh, everything looks good, guys. Okay, and I hope you had the same amount of luck as we did on this one. Uh, other than that, I'm going to bed. Uh, it is now almost 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. It's time for me to go put my head down. God bless you guys. Spend time with your family. You never know how long you got to, to do that. So please enjoy it as much as you can. Fly safe, and we will see you soon. Take care, and thanks for your support. Bye.